anything helps for musicians right now. That's right, Austin musicians, COVID-19 has caused them to press pause. Today, Austin City Council could vote on a measure that would help provide some much needed emergency assistance to them. Yeah, and KXAN's Candy Rodriguez explains what this would mean for those musicians struggling to survive. With no gigs and no tours, musicians across the area are getting creative. Everybody's doing these, um, you know, Instagram live concerts. But Thor Harris from the band Thor and Friends says that's simply not enough and many are struggling to make it. Many of my friends are musicians. We're all just going, well, I don't know. That uncertainty is creating other issues. Patsy Baressa, the executive director at the Sims Foundation, says they've experienced an influx of musicians signing up for their mental health services. 30 musicians and music industry professionals are signing up each week, three times more than this time last year. The anxiety is just through the roof because nobody really knows when it's going to end, what it's going to look like. Today, City Council will take a look at potentially allocating $1.5 million from the hotel occupancy tax to give to musicians. And we want to make sure that you know all of Austin's wonderful live musicians are, are able to you know, make, it, make it through this crisis. It's part of the Live Music Fund and would provide emergency assistance grants at a time when the live music capital is silent. City Council, do what you can for musicians. A, a little bit of money goes a long ways in the life of a musician. At this point, we don't know how they would distribute the money or how eligibility would work for these grants. Council member Kathy Tovo tells me if this resolution passes, staff will have to figure that out. Her goal is to get the money out as quickly as possible, and there's a potential for the city to team up with nonprofits like the Sims Foundation and HAM to help distribute the money and just give our musicians one thing that they can hold on to. Back to you. All right, Candy Rodriguez for us this morning. Council members are also considering a proposal to provide more financial help to folks in Austin. We told you about this last week. Mayor Pro Tem Delia Garza's resolution would help people pay for things like rent, food, and medication. The plan is to take money out of the city's budget and then give it to nonprofits. From there, the nonprofits could distribute vouchers to those who qualify, but the city isn't allowed to give money directly to its citizens.